if you look into a night sky, you see what you see, but you know, the imagination takes you somewhere else. It's a very strange thing because as human beings, we always want to be there. If there's a mountain, we want to climb it. We want, we want to touch, we want to, to feel, we want to possess, you know. And here you're dealing with something that is beyond all that. And I think this is it's just like a wonderful thing. And also, it allows for the mystery to speak. I find that to be inspired by mystery is where you know, this is what it's about, you know, it's very difficult to be inspired by something that's obvious. But you can see dark, very dark, dark yeah. and black, and it goes in like spray. I was born in Israel, and the history of the place somehow uh, rubbed on uh, every child in the place, and, and I'm sure everyone has got their stories, but um, uh, it seemed like I've always needed to express myself. My life was very rich, you know, in terms of my musical upbringing, but painting seemed to be even more than music, something that would come just for me, and it allowed me the kind of freedom that I think I needed. My work started, uh, you know, in a conventional manner where I was painted on, uh, on flat surfaces and then I started to break the surfaces and move into another dimension. So in this work, Heavens, uh, the paint in which supports itself is a sculpture. It's basically a sculpture made out of paint. Knowledge, you know, <laughs> madness. <laughs> madness, that's true. <laughs> I think Aisha is one of the great artists, certainly in Australia, but I think in, in, in the world I've never seen anything like it. He's an inventor on the most highest level, a, a, a modern Marcel Duchamp on a large scale. He's unique, absolutely unique. Aisha has been, as a so called art director, been kind enough to actually help me with my films. And we have a type of, we share a type of sensibility and sensitivity that we never have to discuss what actually is needed. The lushness and the sensuality of Man of Flowers, you can still see it in his work, it's always there. We were making this film, um, Human Touch, and uh, it involved the painter a little bit based upon the vivisector, the type of painter who paints God and then breaks his leg. I sort of went to see an exhibition, a small demonstration of what Asher had done, this explanandum, in a small gallery and was very deeply touched by it. So I rewrote part of the script. There was always an artist involved. But I put Asher's character in the film, and certainly a few lines that come straight from Asher's mouth. What is the explanation, Mr. Spencer? Ah, well, we do what has to be done, don't we? You see, these are the organic components, and they're everywhere. Inside the body, the ocean, the earth, the universe, my ass. <laughs> that character in um, Human Touch is it's not so much me, but it must as well be Paul as well, or any artist who is, you know, struggling to to come across and believes in what he does. It's a perfect place to meditate and to think about your sins and hope that the world will be all right. It's interesting, you know, how people come and look at the work and they're experiencing something that is open for them to interpret. Like, you know, if you listen to a piece of music, there are not two people who are experiencing the same thing. I think it's the same with my work. 